Right, good morning team. Just making sure our frame's looking good. Forgot where everything sits up these days. Nice. Right, that should work. G'day Michael, how are you? Hey. Right. Sheesh, this feels a little bit foreign. It's been a moment, hasn't it? Um, good day, team. Um, I'm back, back on board. <laughs> um, Bro Bro's back, looking at everyone. It has been forever. Um, where's the cowboy outfit? Um, yeah, sorry, I don't have the cowboy outfit with me. Thanks, pal. Um, yeah, not here at the moment, that's for sure. <clears throat> um, yeah, so... Um, we're here, we're back, um, we, yeah, we, we're getting back into a few things. Um, today's going to be, I might as well just jump into it, we're back into it, okay? Um, today is just going to be a nice, easy workout, okay? It'll be something that you can come back and revisit. Um, <clears throat> so it'll just be refining technique, talking about all our stuff, okay? Um, but just a very simple one that we can we can go back and 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 go over as many times as you like, okay? Because, you know, we, we find a go-to that we like in terms of our training and videos and stuff. I, I, I love going and, and watching certain things while I'm training. Um, so this one, it's a very short rest period, okay? It's three 10-minute pieces. There's 20 seconds, okay? So the 20 seconds is literally regather, have a quick drink. So keep your bottle open. Wipe a bit of sweat if you need to, and then back into it, okay? So we're not going to let heart rate come down. So it's almost, almost continuous, okay? So we'll be able to, to get that rhythm and that flow, which we're working on in, in the piece, okay? And then as I've explained at the bottom, try and make each set better, better than the last one, okay? So whether that's just focusing on the technique or the intent that you're pushing the legs, you know, or the speed, right? So... um. Half a split better, one meter. I don't care, okay? Just try and aim to go a little bit quicker. Now, don't make massive differences, okay? Because um, you might find that the heart rate might go really high, um, okay? But we're just looking for a little bit more um, focus and a little bit more perfection between the, the sets, okay? So that we just go that little bit quicker, Okay, a little bit more relaxation if we can. Okay, so each set we focus on all the bits and pieces and we try and get it faster, we try and get it faster, we try and get it faster, right? So at the end of it, you can look at it and say, split one, split two, split three, yep. And while you're doing it, if you're using heart rate, you can say, okay, this was good, a little bit higher, last one, good. Or it was maybe way too high, don't, whatever. Okay, but it's just going to give us a good idea of just trying to find a little bit more just just a little bit okay um it's a very it's a very common thing that people will ask like in chats and, and on forums and stuff like that it's like what sort of intensity should i be putting into my workout don't know what do you want to do okay and that's one of the questions one of the big questions am i looking to match things out or am i looking for a consistency am i looking for sort of sub u2 just to, to do a workout you know sort of like a jogging pace or do I want to do a running pace? You know, that's that's the difference between different workouts, okay? So today is about you finding where you want to sit and then just increasing it a little bit more and a little bit more, but by doing it properly, okay, doing it with the right intent, the right way, the right mannerisms, the right technique, okay? It might just be that you want to do the first one and then the next one you're just going to work on one certain part of your technique, whether it's not lifting off the front, just the hang. Okay, all it's all it is is about hang, 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 and you get to the end and you go, man, my lats are burning. My, I feel like I held it really well. It might have been slower. Who cares, right? But it just gives us a really good chance to just focus, focus, focus. Okay, and it'll and we'll get some really good benefit out of it. Okay, um, so that's us. Um, let's jump in. Uh, <clears throat> are you on? <clears throat> just looking back at the. Uh, the messages, uh, the gold shirt. You want the gold shirt? Yeah, I, I should actually chuck those YouTube videos up on the Sensei page. Someone recorded them and chucked them on YouTube. Um, it was good fun. Um, the other thing I'll say today is I'm dropping my drag down. Okay, I'm, <clears throat> I've am i still got a cough from my COVID a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's like three weeks now. Um, so I've been slowly building back into it, but I find when I exercise, if I'm 
if I start pushing it a little bit too hard, I really start to get a bit of a sore throat and I just start coughing a bit. So my, don't mind me if I, if I start coughing on the way through. Um, uh, but as I say, take it, everyone, just, just take it. Find your level, find your base in that first one, and then we're just going to work through it after that. Okay. Um, so let's rock and roll. Let's jump in. I'm just going to finish my coffee, as I always do. Okay. And then let's rock and roll. Okay. So let's warm up, uh, get ourselves sorted, <clears throat> uh, and then we will be into it. Okay. So heart rate, let's get that going. The old rise at the top always. Love it. So just same old, same old, okay? Just really, even one thing that we, we do, well, I don't really cover it off because it's very individual. It's just the way that everybody warms up into their own sessions, okay? Whether you want to do a little bit more exercise work, whether you just want to flow into it, okay? As I say, it's all very, very individualized. But it's just a matter of getting ourselves loose, blood starting to pump. Then as long as we've got that, we should be in a really good place to start this session today. Okay, so... We always try and start off the way that you want to approach it. Feeling the setup. <clears throat> Feel the machine. Nice hang. <clears throat> Feel that connection between the hands, the feet, and the seat. As long as we've got those, we can feel that connection and the sequencing. Okay, the work load, the intensity should take care of itself if we're putting ourselves into the right frame, the right positioning, okay? So the last sort of 30, 40 seconds here, just start squeezing it on. Always trying to get the warm up to be as close to our starting Pressure, speed, okay? Okay, nice. Nice, relaxed movement. Easy mode. Feel that machine. Feel the speed. Good. Boom. Done. Okay, a task. <clears throat> so set ourselves up because <clears throat> we're just not going to have the time in between the break, very short rest period. So we'll finish. It's really, it's literally just come through, you know, like when we're doing the sessions, <clears throat> I don't know what you guys are like, but whenever I do a session in my head, I'm calculating. Oh, yeah. There's 2K to go. Oh, there's a K to go. You know, by the time and the split and everything, it's in your head. <laughs> and then you can work it all out. Um, so always counting down, working on the goals. Next minute, focus this. Get to the five minute doing this. Yep, cool, right. Let's push it down to the two and a half or the two, the 500 to go, whatever. Boom, finished. Okay, so we're going to have that. No problems. And we're going to be focusing on the technique, focusing on the rhythm, really holding it, trying to keep a consistent split. Okay, so today, let's really try and, and minimize our standard deviation of our split. Okay, see if we can keep it within four or five. Okay, put a round number on it. 
<clears throat> try not to make it too wide. Get a number, sit on it, think about what you're doing, focus, flow, holding the split. Good. See how long you can hold it for. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay. And then, as I say, that 20 seconds. <sighs> Breathe it in, wipe some sweat, have a drink, bang. We're straight back into it, straight back onto that focus. Okay. So, here we go. Uh, as normal, select workout, new workout, intervals, intervals time. Set the time at 10 minutes. And then set that rest period at 20 seconds. I was actually thinking the other day, I was like, I can't, well, in the next coming while, I'm going to do a set of 40 20s. Well, really, <laughs> I, I can't remember if we've done anything like that for a long time. And I was like, you know what, once I'm better, I'm going to like, we're going to pump out some high intensity stuff. <laughs> Just for the fun of it, 18. Eh, okay, so here we go. Uh, press the OK. Should be reset. Okay, ready. Let's roll. <sighs> Breathe it in. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Are you ready? Attention. Go. Okay, so take the first sort of 30 seconds to get our length. Okay, and the length meaning the flexibility of our travel into the front. Find out where we're naturally getting to. The compression, the point of no return. Okay, so we know where our deceleration starts. Okay, and now let's start to focus on our production. So our symmetry of our bodies, sitting nice and straight, both feet together, hanging under the armpit, and let's start feeling our sequencing. Okay, remembering, have a watch on the screen. Find that split. Maintain. Okay, and try and make it as smooth in terms of our ratio. Okay, that work, rest. Work. Rest. That allows us to produce the speed. And then because we're resting, if we flow with the machine around here into the front, we can analyze how the last stroke went and the bits and pieces that we're going to focus on for the next stroke, okay? Is it the catch? Is it the feeling on the feet? Is it the body coming through? Does it feel like it's opening too early? Okay. But settle into the speed. Pushing ourselves to the intensity that we're trying to. <clears throat> and let's focus this ratio. Push, flow. Okay. Always trying to make this. No stress, no tension on this recovery. Should be loose in the arms. Soft knee break. Ride the machine, okay? Hands come away from the finish. Lead it away. 
Good. And that's one thing to remember. Always, <clears throat> even when we get up through the rates, to let this machine do the work for us on that recovery. Relax the tension out of the shoulders. That long reach under the armpits <clears throat> through the lats. Okay, nice. Okay, so we've got a good metronomic rhythm going on here. <clears throat> There's obviously more time on that recovery, but make sure it feels like it's one speed. Okay, so I talk about the handles, the feet and the seat on this drive making sure you can feel those connection points. <clears throat> and then on the reverse, on the recovery, feeling the hands lead out. Nice and easy, out over the knees. <clears throat> and then feel the relationship between the handle and the seat, okay? If you can feel the handle do this halfway up. We haven't quite got it out to find that relationship together. Okay, yes, the handle moves more there, but then through here, this moves at a consistent speed and so does the seat. Okay, through here. And that allows us to get set, ready for the next stroke, okay? And then we can feel that change in direction, load on the feet, patience, and push. Okay, good. Roll into the front. I feel that momentary patience just there. Round the front. D cell. And then create, start the acceleration. Okay. Remembering that we're building from zero through to maximum force in the middle of the stroke. Okay, we're not trying to take maximum force there. Okay. It's built throughout the stroke by the sequence of our legs and our bodies working together. Push and swing. All while hanging off the arms. It's the only way we can find our potential, maximum potential, is by trying to get that sequencing as good as we possibly can. Okay? Now, I know we're not all going to get it. We've got to work with the limitations that we've currently got. But just keep... Trying to refine, pushing our comfort zones, okay? And holding that consistency. Okay, so think about it now. How have your splits been? Your watts, whatever you're working on? Have we been Reasonably consistent.
focusing, trying to maintain a steady, continuous motion. Staying out of the shoulders, try and eliminate too much tension up through here. Try and really engage these lats. You know, as if we were lifting a bar, hanging on a chin up bar. Good. Okay, so for this last bit, holding what we've got, just have a focus for a bit on <clears throat> the hinge that's happening in our hips, okay? Just think about it, have a feel, the hinge through the drive, the hinge back on the recovery. Okay. That creates our body movement from forward position to back position, back to forward. Okay. Hold the steady to the line. Good. Okay. So very short break, quick drink. So check your numbers, you split, here we go, and back into it. So take this first 40 seconds to a minute, get back onto our rhythm. Okay, breathe into it. Keeping the body in an, in an aerobic fashion. As we get through all of this workout, this recovery, and our temperament, our relaxation, all of that, becomes a factor in our stress levels and our fatigue. So we keep trying to get that philosophy, work, rest. Good. Okay. So it's good work on that rope, that flow and that rhythm in the last set. Let's focus for a bit now on this turn around the front. The engaging the gears of the machine, creating our strokes, okay? As I said before, we don't need to be really powerful right from the catch. Okay, it's an increasing acceleration through to halfway in terms of our force. Okay, you can see it if you use the force curve function. So we get a nice smooth pickup and we sequence our stroke to the best of our ability. We find ourselves holding our peak for a bit longer, okay? What happens is if we really give it to it, the peak's very sharp. Whereas when we've got the legs and the body coming through together for a good duration of time, We maintain good speed and we're using all of these big muscle groups which can sustain good power, good period of time. 
okay? And we use our bodies, we use our natural swing. Hang and swing. Okay, but it does need to be initiated by the legs, smoothly around the front, without a hit and without a grab. Okay, flow in. And sit back. Okay, nice. I feel that compression. Make it natural, just ride the seat. Ride the resistance of the chain. Just before the front, feel that weight on the feet. And then start that push with the hang in the feet. And the body through the core and the lower back. Come through the middle. There's our easy speed. Okay, good. Okay, this is good flow. It's good rhythm. So we maintain this. Keep focusing that front turn. As you've probably heard me say many a times, what we try and think about is actually leaving the handle out here as we push away, okay? It's going to come back to us. Okay, it's a given. But if we're thinking too much about the handle itself, is where we start to do this a bit much, shoulder tension, chest tension, rather than just leave it out there. Push away from it. Okay, we're not going to be letting go. It's going to come back with us. Okay? And that's the key. It comes back with us. Okay, so long arms again. Focus with me. Roll around. Loose. Don't choke the handle, okay? You want to have a good grip. You don't need to be tense too much, okay? Finger strength is good. Okay, so we've been working this front. We've been working the drive. Now let's just remember that when we get towards the finish of the stroke, let that handle come to us. Okay, yes, a little bit of arm engagement. Don't make it like that, okay? Don't try pull it in, okay? Because you're not doing anything. The only thing you're doing is getting tired. The, all the force has been created. If you're trying to hold on to anything more, the trade-off between trying to be strength and powerful in the arms versus the amount of fatigue that you're going to gain, not worth it, okay? If we're talking last 20 seconds of like high intensity pieces, who cares? Do whatever. Okay, for this type of work, let it come. Okay? And the way that the handle comes to us is indicative of what we've done round the front through the middle. Okay? If we grab it here, you'll find that it feels very decelerated towards the finish, which is then why we try and pull it, okay? 
we get the hang. And the hands to us. If we feel the hands coming and brushing around the body, we've probably got a good sequence through the middle. Okay. So let's put this whole package together. Last minute and 20 seconds. Smooth. Rhythm. Continuous motion. Nice relaxation. And thinking again, how's our consistency been? Okay, I don't mind the up and down. If we're working on parts of our technique and then we see what effect our changes have on our split. Good. Nice. Okay, down to the line. Nice. Right, good. Okay, last piece coming up. I think I did about another 15 meters there. It's good. Okay, same again. Here we go. Now, so last piece, have a think about how you're feeling. Okay, physically, mentally, part and parcel. Okay, so think about, did you go quicker the last one? Can we squeeze out another point one of a split? another meter okay don't think you're going to do another hundred let's just try and start here get ourselves onto a better average split whatever and let's focus put everything together that we're talking about and finish off this last nine minutes here really well okay so start off by thinking about the body thinking about how we're sitting thinking about what's happening as we come in to the catch okay am i dropping am i getting underneath myself do i feel tense tight in the arms And let's back off that tension, 5%. And it's 5% we can put into our production of speed. Because okay? when we're on that recovery, we're doing nothing to the machine. We're getting no bang for our buck. Only time is when we're on the drive, okay? So yes, we've got to set into a position, but we want to try and do that as naturally and as easily as we can. Okay, now it should be easy because this is trying to go that way. So we roll with it. Okay. Good. Feel that chain. Focus, handle, and seat from here. Roll. Roll. Okay, feel it. 
one speed. Okay, good. Now let's feel that compression at the front. Coming in. Okay, and then creating the speed of the drive, of the push. Yes, be a little bit slow out of the start from here, but then increases through the middle. Legs, feel that push on the feet, the ball to the feet. Let the ankles and the heels naturally come off. Last part of the recovery. And then we push and hang. Push and hang. Good. Hold those arms long. Okay, keep those long arms with me on the feet. <clears throat> Feel the different stages of our feet. On the toes, floating, then back onto the balls of the feet. Okay. Feel the strap for five or six strokes here. A little bit of pull, float, and then onto the balls. Okay, good. So, with that compression on the feet, let's feel a nice, consistent push on the legs through the drive. Here we go. Nice. Good. Now start to think about our body getting driven by the legs. Through the middle. Okay, that leg and body together where all our speed comes from our potential. Okay, this is good. Nice. Smooth. Okay, good. Feeling our composure. How are we feeling? Remember, breathe, relax that face. This is good. <clears throat> nice rhythm. Okay, good. Take a moment, feel ourselves, feel our own rhythm. Okay, back onto that hang, double check. Armpits. Good. Good flow. Good rhythm. Remember those handles come in, brush around. Nice.
Okay, this is good. I think we're coming down to the last two minutes. Stay focused. Stay loose. Relaxed. Feel that intent. Watch our speed. Watch our rhythm. Make any change. See what effect it has. Okay, nice. Soft knees. Roll off the back with that chain resistance. Into the front. Sit nicely as we come forward on the slide. Don't need to be set here and then be stiff. Be 90% set. And then the last part just naturally happens if we can press into the front. Good. Okay. Feel that compression. Long arms. And push away from the handle. Good. Let those legs drive the body. Hands to us. Brush the body and repeat. That's it. Easy days. Very, very easy days. Right, so just press the menu button, okay? Save that into the menu. Go back and have a look. <clears throat> okay, and we can just now paddle down, okay? Not too bad, okay? I think I had about a 10 to 15 meter increase in each of those sets, okay? It's good, really good. Okay, but a very good session just like that where I just thought, you know what, we'll chuck this in here. I'll do a lot of talking. Can't shut me up. Um, and it'll just be a session that you can revisit when you need a nice, quick 30-minute. There's only a minute of break between the whole thing, okay? But it just breaks it up, okay, and puts it into a, into a thought process, into the mental side to be like, hey, I really should focus on these bits, this set, these bits next, put it together, blah, 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 okay? And that's the idea. So even though most of the stuff is everything we're still working on, it just allows you to see what you're doing. It's 10 minutes, and there's just that quick little mental break. Heart rate doesn't really come down, okay? But it's just a nice little bit of a, okay, here's a moment. Right, here we go again, okay? Back into it. Okay, and so great session to do that. Um, hopefully you were focusing on all the little bits and pieces. There's, um, there's just so much to work on, okay? And one thing I will say is that just remember when you're focusing on, on your technique and trying to make improvements and, and stuff, that we can't, it's, it's, it is very difficult to think about all of the parts of the stroke that are gonna that are that are there okay so if you're really focusing on one thing if, if the thing is that you're you feel like you're lifting off the front okay and doing this then it might not necessarily be that you've got to think about what's happening on the drive as such or the hang but it could be that sometimes we need to look at other parts because there's an equal and opposite reaction, right? So 
if we're not getting this set up here and coming into the front and being comfortable there, then we tend to do that, okay? So the fact that we're lifting or doing this off the front is not because of that at the catch, it's because of what we're doing to get to that point, okay? So sometimes the part that you're actually doing wrong, or I shouldn't say wrong, I should say the part that you're having difficulty with <coughs> that's frustrating you can often be because of some other part of the stroke or the recovery, okay? And so just have a think about it and, and work it out as you're going along to be like, actually, when I do get nicely set here, I feel a little bit more comfortable into the catch, okay? Um, and remember, it just takes so much time to get rid of our bad habits, okay? We can do new things very, very quickly, but breaking old habits is the hardest part of what we're trying to achieve, okay? And so just keep, keep that in mind, okay? When you're working on things, it takes time and time, repetition, working on it, you know? And some days are easier than others. Some days we're more fatigued than others. Um, so just keep really working on all the little bits and pieces that are gonna help you improve on all the bits and stuff that you want to improve on, okay? But otherwise, team, great session, great session. Um, and yeah, just one that'll um, be good for you guys to be able to revisit, okay? Um, so yeah, good to be back. Um, as I say, we'll, we'll get back into the swing of things, uh, start getting some structure, start getting some changes and and bits and pieces adding to our library of, of workouts that we've got going. <coughs> Maybe take a few uh, take a few suggestions on things that people want to work on. Um, we'll keep that communicated through, obviously, Facebook's probably the easiest one. Um, but otherwise, um, I hope everybody's been well. Um, yep, if you search YouTube, Dancing with the Stars, New Zealand, Eric Murray, boom, you might find some videos, be a bit of a laugh. Um, it was a lot, I'm not going to lie. Um, crikey, when did we start? March. Wow, yeah, two and a half months. Um, there was a lot of training. There was a lot of training. Um, we danced every day. I think I had probably two days off from about the 20th of March or whatever I started. Um, man, we just did as much as we could. And it was fun. Like I say, it was fun. Learn a new skill. I can ballroom dance now and do a bit of cha-cha and a bit of Latin. I won't say very well, but um, it was it was interesting. Doing lifts, throwing my partner Lauren, my dance partner. All she wanted to do was cartwheel off my shoulder and put, put her up in the air and throw her around and twist her and drop her. And Oh, my God, it was crazy. Um, but, yeah, it was a great TV show. Um, I think we probably – we might have raised close to a million bucks for charities. Um, so I was one of nine. So – um, hopefully every charity will, will get sort of close to, I don't know, close to 100 grand each or something like that, whatever it's going to end up being. So at the end of the day, you know, I'm in a privileged position to be able to do stuff like that and help charities and bits and pieces out. And um, if I can dance and entertain or entertain is probably the word, laugh, whatever, cry, um, then, uh, yeah, by all means, it was, um, it was, it was a challenge. Um, right, I see some things coming through. Bring bring your dance partner in for a live stream, row bro. No, Lauren can't row. I took her out for a, um, we did a filming piece in, uh, before one of the shows and we took her out rowing on Carapera. Never been before. Chucked her in a quad. She got it, but it wasn't pretty. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, the, I just saw, Ellen, anything from the dancing that would be, be useful for rowers to know. No, the only thing I'll say is that when when Lauren and I had some good chats, the only thing that it does is that you are you keep repeating trying to get better. She was like, all you want to do is get better. And I'm like, well, why wouldn't I? And she's like, yeah, but you'll just keep going and keep going and trying to trying to get it right or trying to get it like comfortable. And I'm like, well, what else am I supposed to do? So we just do do moves. She'd be like, look, we're going to go down this line, blah, 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 you know, Pivot, pivot around each other, do this thing, and we're going to get to this point. And then we might, and then we might change it, whatever. And so we just do that and do it again and 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 just keep going. 
for like an hour. And I was just like, yeah, but I've got to get it right. And she's like, yeah, well, so the only, the only offset from like dancing to rowing is just repeat repetition. It's just repetition. And even though it might seem like it's the same step, the same movement, which is exactly like rowing, you're just trying to find a way for it to be more natural, more comfortable, slightly easier, um, whatever. Um, and that's what I really find on this is that every stroke, even though it's the same stroke, this can be so different. Just by by point something of a second slower with the handles means that the, the seat has to be slightly quicker coming into the front, which can lead to something different, you know, and and then, of course, now that has an offset on the speed out of the front, you know, and all this. So we might look like we're doing the same stroke time and time again, but there's so there's just there's differences, you know, or we just shake our shoulders a little bit, bang, it's changed our setup position. OK, so that's probably the only thing is um, just repetition is where we get. Where we start to find ourselves getting better. Okay, or working on on things that we're not good at or that we're doing wrong, you know, and and that's and that's the only simple thing that I could bring out of it. Um, yeah, that, that's that's it, you know. And that was one thing that I probably got good ups from was just the work ethic. I feel like we know how to work because we we put ourselves under stress, we put ourselves under pressure, and we're just trying to work towards it. Okay. Um, I saw Ronnie last month I with my kids varsity tough workout I kicked the butts coach told me rely too much on the foot straps and told me to row once a week without them all right Ronnie um so rowing with your feet out is great for is great for being on the water okay now it is it is a contentious issue I will I will say there's a lot of people that talk about about the foot straps now the only thing with the foot straps is like you can obviously you can take the stroke right, and then as long as you're if, if you're if you're really pulling into the finish with your hands, that's when you're going to come off the foot strap. Now, if we do what I talk about, letting it come to us, okay, we get that motion. So if we add a little bit more through the middle, and we also come to us, we just get a little bit on our feet, okay. And then obviously, as we change this direction, to help us get back over. Now, for us to, to do this, all it is is we've got to use really, really tight core strength and then start to feel this coming forward. Okay, but with your feet out, you obviously have to rely on this chain going back that way. Okay, so feet out is a great exercise for helping eliminate too much second half drive so what we talk about second half drive is we come through here and then we go go, go a game like that okay <laughs> but if we like come through the middle and then we we let it come to us it wasn't a good example but if we let it come to us obviously we've got the chain in the hand um then that's where we feel not as much pull on the feet but if we're really trying to rip it back into here we have to pull on the feet to stop ourselves going back that way. Okay, so it's good for on water because it stops people trying to finish the handles into the body too hard, which is which is exactly what we try and do here. Okay, but we still need to have an element of as we change direction, as we change direction, we have a little bit of pull which helps pull us back over with the speed of the thing okay and it's and, and you'll hear me talk about it and i say on the toes you feel it in on the top of the shoes then it's floating then it's back onto the balls okay i still think there needs to be that element now if you're feeling that it's on the toes as you're coming halfway up like this yes that means that we haven't transferred our weight from being helping pull us, helping create this momentum forward. Okay, that's where we get the issue. So if they're still on like this, you can feel it up against the top of your shoes or up on top of the toes like this as you're coming through here. Yes, we haven't quite changed because there should be a point about here where your where your feet are basically you can wriggle the toes 
in, in the thing, okay? And then when we come up to here, now it's all back onto that thing. So I, I know what the coach is saying around doing it. It's great for an exercise. I do it occasionally in a warm-up, um, but I don't know if I'd row a lot with it out. As I say, it is very good technically when you're on the water because the, the thing with the feet out on the water is what you're trying to create is as you drive the boat just before the finish, exactly like what I teach here, if you let the handle come to you at about this far to the body, what happens is the vortex behind the oar lets it pop up, okay? And you can just sit there and go, wow, great stroke. Beautiful, Eric. That was amazing. Okay, but if you try and pull it in, stuck in behind the vortex and it, and it pops out. So what it teaches you is that if you don't let it happen around the finish because your feet are out and you don't have that ability to try and ram it at home, that's why that's why you go feet out. So it stops you from trying to do this around the finish, especially in a rowing boat. Okay, erg, meh, not so much. Okay, it's there as an exercise. Okay, I wouldn't be religious about it. Do it absolutely if you're if you're feeling like it might help with part of your stroke. Okay, but once a week, meh, whatever, try it. Okay, and that's one thing as well. Like, there's a whole lot of different things. Um, you can row, and and I just don't get into it because I'm. I don't know. I, I've never really sort of dived that deep into it. I've, I do some warm-ups every now and again before I start my thing with my feet out just to feel this rhythm around the finish, okay? I feel like I've got it pretty good anyway. So, um, But there's other ones you can do where you row one foot out, one foot not, okay? And that starts to teach you that appreciation of what you're doing around the finish, okay? And you can look at your feet, okay? Not worried about the screen, just doing intervals, one foot up, one foot down, you know, and you can feel this around here. And then you can feel this one's pulling, okay? Does it then start to float in the shoe? And then, okay, got the thing at the finish. So it's just an exercise that helps in certain ways um, for things that you may or may not be doing right or wrong, okay? But it is something you could try. Uh, Joe, welcome back. Well done, Dancing with the Stars. Yep, going out of it. Yep, but like me and rowing. We'll keep it up, Joe. J-Lo. Um, Michael, same as karate, over and over, small improvement. That's it there. Neil, uh, couldn't string my parts together. Well done, Eric. Good to see you back. What's the next challenge? Golf. Golf. Nah, and, and just back onto the back onto the grind. Back onto the rowing. Back coaching you guys. Creating content. That's what we want to do. Okay. Um, good seeing you all. Thanks, Eric. Okay, cheers, Ro, bro. Hey, look, thanks, team. Enough talking. Um, we're back. Earlier time next week. Um, I'll be up early, bloody hell. Um, uh, but keep up the good work. Keep working on li little bits and pieces. Um, let's start chatting in the in the Facebook. Um, things that people want to work on. Maybe I could think of some workouts that we can start adjusting. Okay, I think we might start getting into a little bit more like programming of our workouts where we do some sort of variable stuff a little bit more. You know, like maybe a five-minute piece and then a three-minute piece and a seven-minute piece, you know, just bits and pieces in between, um, you know, maybe a, a slow rating, higher rating, slow rating, higher rating, bits and pieces like that. Um, and it's just going to adjust the way that we do things, um, just create more training things, um, which can really help out. Because rowing, rowing's one where it's generalized that we're trying to get better so that we do a test at high ratings and, and that sort of thing. Okay, but what we can do is we can do some some low rating stuff to start, then some high rating through the middle, go back to low rating, high rating, and, and it just helps out through the different bits and pieces. So there's so much more workout stuff that we can do. Um, we've really only scratched the surface, even though we're only working on time. Okay, can't obviously do distance because otherwise some of us might still be going. Um, so that's just the case. Okay, but apart from that, thanks a lot, team. Stay tuned, keep working hard, um, and we'll see you guys back here next week. Okay, thank you from me and the Sensei team. Peace out, all the best, train hard, see you later.